Comes back out to center. Barber with it at center ice. Restuccia did not get anywhere. Carried in by Frost. Frost clears it across. A shot. They score. Ripped in off the crossbar by Dan Bell, and Castleton takes a 1 0 lead. It was a great job by Dan Bell. Kind of snuck up on the weak side. Good pass to the middle, and he went top shelf. I think that's huge right now for Castleton, getting out to a lead, which they didn't do yesterday. Uh, he's still battling for the puck on the far side. Castleton's hold the zone still as Richards works all his way to the front of backhand to save a rebound. They score! Castleton just would not be denied in the zone. And they're finally able to bang the puck home as they have a 2 0 lead. And I think it's Restuccia. Or no, it's Eric Mack. Eric Mack got the last hack at it. It's 2 0 Castleton. Yeah, well, I just said that Ingerson needed to hold on to those rebounds, and Castleton did throw a couple of bodies down. You know, great heads up play there by DeLorme. He was able to put it on net, and then Mack was able to just finish it for another easy goal. And this is exactly the start that Castleton needed to boost their confidence in this first period. I believe that's Mack's first of the season. I don't even see him on the score sheet yet for Castleton. He's a freshman. I think that's his first collegiate goal. We'll get confirmation on that when we can. Meanwhile, a pass comes out in front for Plymouth State. Here's a shot. They score. The Panthers come right back, and it's Sarig hammering a slap shot home from the right circle. The Panthers cut the lead in half. Sloppy defense right there from from Castleton, not getting back enough. You have to beware of Sarah because he has a, a good slap shot, had a couple shots against Oswego last night. You know, Dan Jones was able to put those ones to bay, but Plymouth not going away. They're a team that when they when they can, their offense is their offense is high flying. And in below the goal line, a chance for Plymouth State looking to center. Walking around to the corner, Fox trying to back him, move circles the other way and centers and could not get it to Walters. What a Skill a display of skill by Fox, who now takes a slap shot, and he scores! What a shift for Zach Fox, who ends up hammering a slap shot home from the left circle. That could have been an instructional video. This game is tied at two. Well, he isn't no Justin Fox, but Zach Fox certainly getting it done for Plymouth, who ties up this game. I like the puck rotation, moving behind the net, finding a guy out front, put it right past the goalie, and man, 2-2. We got ourselves a good hockey game, Mike. And thank you to all that tuned in this weekend. On the right wing side, it'll be carried in by Plymouth State. Now a chance right off the bat. Scores! Moving right to the net is Alex Cobble and just 14 seconds into the third. Plymouth State has their first lead of the hockey game. You know, well, that's a momentum turner right there. Right off the faceoff, a little bit outside and not even 14 seconds in. Cottle. You know, the problem that Stafford has had is not anything low. It's up above, around the shoulder pads, around the helmet. He's not getting up there quick enough. He was able to pull one right by. Huge, huge, huge play for Plymouth. You know, and we talked about it, Mike, the, the Spartans penalty kill. It's, it's average, not best, but, you know, that'll certainly not help you out as well. So these guys really moving well, moving the puck in the right direction. Stevens toss it to the face. Fox comes in and wins it. Centered! Scores! And it's Eric Mack who's got his first two collegiate goals tonight. And this game is tied again, 3-3. You know, Mack just asserting his will there. I mean, Mike, I think we need to retire. We keep talking about how different strategies need to be changed, and <laughs> it's working for him. Good redirection off the faceoff. That's one of those things that you have a set play for off the faceoff, put the puck in front of the net. And Mack, you know, the freshman, he's really, he's really stepping himself up and doing Good things for Castleton. And sends it across. Now takes a one-timer that deflects off Bell in the slot. Bell goes to pick it up. Bell up top. One-timer. Scores! Ryan DeLorme from the point. The power play drought is over for Castleton. They're back out in front with 2.51 to go. And that's huge for Castleton. DeLorme loses his glove as he gives a fist pump. But Ingerson had been doing such a good job in this period, shaking his head in disgust. Knew he should have had that one. He'll want it back. But, again, good puck movement. And finally, finally, Castleton able to get on the board with a power play goal. Uh, they're first in, in uh, this tournament. So uh, that's uh, a huge weight lifted off their shoulders. Down to the left of the net, of the Castleton net. Fox is now going to take it for Plymouth State. Again, it's slapped into the corner. Trying to tie the puck up is Castleton Barber. 
Eight seconds left. Can they push it along the boards? Five seconds to go. It slides free. It's sent back to the point. One final shot here. Pad save. Rebound swatted to the side, and that is it. Stafford makes the big stop right at the end, and the Castleton Spartans claim third place here in the Pathfinder Bank of Swigo Hockey Classic.